कौताल ई हुसैन असल मै मिर्ग ए अजीद हाय इस्लाम जिंदा होता है हर करबला का बाद द बैटल ऑफ करबला अ डिफाइनिंग मोमेंट इन इस्लामिक हिस्ट्री इज डीपली इंटरटwined विद द पॉलिटिकल सोशल एंड रिलीजियस डायनामिक्स ऑफ द अर्ली इस्लामिक पीरियड द रूट्स ऑफ दिस ट्रेजिक इवेंट ट्रेस बैक टू द रिवोल्ट अगेंस्ट द उमायाद रूल पर्टिकुलरली द रिबेलियन ऑफ मुआविया एंड द सब्सिक्वेंट रेन ऑफ हिज सन याजीद मुआविया इबन अबी सुफियान a prominent figure in early islamic politics established the umayyad caliphate after a series of conflicts with ali ibn abi talib may allah be pleased with him the fourth caliph and cousin of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him muawiyah's rise to power marked the beginning of a dynastic rule in islamic governance a departure from the earlier caliphate system which was more communal and consultative in nature Muawiyah's consolidation of power set the stage for a more autocratic and hereditary form of leadership which sowed seeds of discontent among various factions within the Muslim community. Upon Muawiyah's death in 680 CE, his son Yazid ascended to the caliphate. Yazid's appointment was controversial and widely opposed, especially by those who believed that the leadership of the Muslim community should not be determined by dynastic succession, but rather by the community's choice and merit. Among the notable opponents was Hussein ibn Ali, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, and a highly respected figure in the Muslim world. Hussein's refusal to pledge allegiance to Yazid was rooted in his belief that Yazid's rule was illegitimate and morally corrupt person. The people of Kufa, a city with a history of opposition to the Umayyad rule, were particularly vocal in their support for Hussein. They sent numerous letters and envoys to Hussein, urging him to come to Kufa and lead them in rebellion against Yazid. The Kufans assured Hussein of their loyalty and support, promising to stand by him in his quest for justice and rightful leadership. Encouraged by these invitations, Hussein decided to journey to Kufa. However, his journey was fraught with challenges from the outset. As Hussein and his small caravan made their way towards Kufa, they were intercepted by Yazid's forces. The governor of Kufa, Ubaid Allah ibn Ziyad, was informed of Hussein's movements and took measures to prevent him from entering the city and rallying his supporters. Hussein and his companions eventually halted at Karbala, a desert plain near the Euphrates River. Here, Hussein's small group of around 72 men, including family members including children and loyal supporters, found themselves surrounded by a significantly larger Umayyad army. Despite the dire circumstances, Hussein and his followers remained resolute in their mission. The treatment meted out to Hussein and his followers at Karbala was harsh and inhumane. They were denied access to water from the Euphrates, an act intended to weaken them both physically and psychologically. As days passed, the situation became increasingly desperate. The promised support from the Kufans failed to materialize as many of those who had pledged their loyalty to Hussein either backed out under pressure or were unable to reach him due to the Umayyad blockade. On the 10th of Muharram, in the year 680 CE, the confrontation reached its tragic climax. Known as Ashura, this day witnessed the brutal killing of Hussein and his followers. Despite the overwhelming odds, Hussein and his companions fought valiantly but were ultimately overpowered. Hussein himself was martyred, his body desecrated, and his head severed and sent to Yazid as a gruesome trophy. The aftermath of the Battle of Karbala had profound implications. The martyrdom of Hussein became a symbol of resistance against tyranny and injustice, deeply influencing Islamic thought and spirituality. For the Shia Muslims, Hussein's sacrifice epitomized the struggle for righteousness and the willingness to endure suffering for a just cause. This event also further entrenched the schism between Sunni and Shia Muslims, a division that has had lasting impacts on Islamic history and geopolitics. The Battle of Karbala and the events leading up to it are not merely historical occurrences, but are imbued with rich symbolism and lessons that continue to resonate with Muslims around the world. Hussein's unwavering stand against Yazid's tyranny 
his commitment to moral integrity and the ultimate sacrifice he made are commemorated annually during the month of Muharram, particularly on the day of Ashura, through morning rituals, processions, and reenactments. In essence, the Battle of Karbala encapsulates the timeless struggle between good and evil, justice and oppression, and serves as a powerful reminder of the principles of courage, sacrifice, and unwavering faith. The sands of Karbala are forever stained with the blood of Hussein and his companions, a testament to their undying commitment to justice and righteousness. Their sacrifice transcends time, serving as an eternal beacon of hope and defiance against tyranny. The pain of Karbala is not merely a historical memory. It lives on in the hearts of millions who draw strength from Hussein's stand, inspiring them to uphold the values of integrity and courage in the face of oppression. As the world continues to navigate the complexities of justice and power, the legacy of Karbala reminds us that true heroism lies in the willingness to sacrifice everything for the greater good. Hussein's martyrdom is a poignant reminder that the struggle for justice and truth is a path of immense sacrifice, but also one of eternal honor and unbreakable spirit.